the game has changed. Forget everything you think you know about Nigerian election. 2023 is going to be different. These days, I get so many messages from people saying, why are you telling people to get their PVC safe? Like, why are you bothering people? The elections don't count in Nigeria. They will rig everything. I'm here to say no. In this video, I'm going to give you guys the reason why you need to get your PVC now and participate in 2023 Nigerian elections. Those elections are going to make history. And I'm not making an emotional appeal. I'm giving you the cocoa, the break down like i'm going to show you working of why your votes will count in 2023 if any of your friends or family is disturbing you that oh why are you even bothered with the election it won't count this is the video you send them to debunk all of that let's get to it right now obi king to ease no i coming out with the music to ease your mind hi guys it's obi king once again in the house with another video for you guys first of all i want to thank you guys so much for the love you've shown me in the recent voting poll interviews i've listened to you guys and i'll definitely incorporate more of these street interviews in future also i want to thank you guys so much i just hit a thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for subscribing thank you guys for watching the videos one thing i can assure you is the content never stops here yeah, like obi king i'm gonna keep it rolling so just stay tuned all right on to the topic of today i believe that your vote will count in 2023 and i'm going to give details for me to explain this well i need to go down to the voting process proper and break down all the elements in 2015 Good luck, Jonathan introduced the card reader. The card reader was used in the 2015 and 2019 elections. The card reader has three functions now when you go to the polling unit with your pvc the first thing you do is verification. You get your PVC, your permanent voter card, you slot it in to the card reader machine, you know, like a POS, and it verifies that, okay, this card is authentic, the details of the person that is using this card, and the person is eligible to vote. Now, second of all, the card reader has a fingerprint scanner on top of it, you know, where you put your finger and then it verifies that, okay, this is actually the person that is linked to this card, and this person is verified to vote. The second process is called authentication. Once you're authenticated and verified by the machine, it means you're eligible to vote in the election. That means you can go and print whatever party that you like, whatever candidate that you like, and go and vote them. Now, the card reader has a third function that many people don't know about. That third function is called collation. At the end of the election, when all the voting is done, all the thumb printing is done, when they've counted all the votes, that card reader is actually connected to the internet. Whoever is handling the election, the polling unit officer, they will now type in the results of the election into that card reader. Snap the result sheet, you know, for proof that that was actually the result. Then send it to the INEX server. So directly from that polling unit the results from that election is going to the INEC server and this time you can see it on the INEC portal as the results are coming in so you'll be seeing the results as they are coming in from different polling units on the server it happened in this equity state election the results were coming in through the server so people could verify is this the results that was actually in my polling unit what this does is it creates two different levels of verification for the results there is the paper you know the result sheets of which a copy is even always attached at the polling unit so that anybody can verify then there's the online verification so now we have two different ways to verify our election results and that's really really very exciting now we've actually been doing this since 2015 we did it in 2015 we did it in 2019 we actually used the card reader but the difference was in 2015 and 2019 the card reader technology was not signed into law before now INEC has not had the power to implement technology in Nigerian elections why is different now is that like I said in a previous video Buhari signed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. That bill, among other things, it gives INEC the power to use technology in elections and gives them more independence to carry out their duties, you know, as an electoral body. What it means now is that that card reader and the results gotten from the card reader are now legal. What happened in 2015 and 2019 was we are using the card reader, you know, people were very happy to use the card reader, do thumb prints. Those that are disenfranchised were not happy. But at the end of the day, the card reader didn't count. In 2015 and 2019, it didn't count. It was like a test. It was a pilot program. But this time around, the card reader is going to count. That's why I'm telling you guys, you need to get your PVC. Like, forget all the discussion. There's a reason so many people are gathering to get their PVC now. It's not a joke. Get your PVC first. 
I know the process is stressful and in actual fact, it's supposed to be your right to be able to vote once you turn 18. Like PVC is just a piece of plastic. But for the period that we're in now, it is tantamount that you get your PVC and vote. Now regarding the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, we already know that the bill is working. Because of that, a whole lot of ministers, political appointees, you know, that wanted to be elected for office, they actually had to resign from their jobs. In Ekiti State, we also saw the proof. Even Yaga and European Union, they said they liked the election. The election was free, but the only problem was now vote buying. In some articles, they said the APC was buying votes for 10,000, PDP was buying for 5,000, SDB was buying for 3,000. So obviously, the highest bidder will win now. <laughs> <laughs> if all the candidates are buying votes, it means that nobody is interested in running on their merits. Although, of course, the governor-elect letter came and said that, no, we didn't buy anything, but the evidence was just ample. The voting process in so far so good. It's going on fine. But to be sincere with you, there are some atrocities going on here. There are some certain political party conversing people here with 10,000. The security are here looking at them, doing nothing, which is highly despicable. It's because you people are here with camera now. That is why they stopped. That is what is going on here since morning. They, are, they even went to the extent of giving people money online. It's highly despicable. Remember in the 2019 elections, Atiku went to court to challenge the results. And at Supreme Court level, his case was thrown out. They said it doesn't have any merit. And they said they don't have server. <laughs> this time around, that won't be the same story. They have a server. The server is working and our votes are going to be electronically transmitted this time around so that's why you need to vote if you have your pvc be happy and please ensure that you go and vote in this election if you don't have your pvc please try your best to get it i know it's hard but try your best to get it because these elections are going to make history i myself i already have my pvc you know that's why i'm even emboldened to talk like this so you guys i encourage you to get yours and participate in this election this election is going to be historic 2023 elections we are going to know the true situation of citizens in the country what do citizens want this time around is going to reflect whatever we vote that's what we're going to get so that's what i wanted to tell you guys if you think there's anything i didn't add let me know in the comments thanks so much for watching do like and subscribe once again my name is obi king and i'll see you guys in the next one soon